Hi there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can claim your badges that you get into your Credly account. I see a lot of people still struggling um, with the email, how to accept that and stuff like that. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about three things. One is like whenever you get an invitation email to accept the badge, maybe you have got some certification, maybe you completed a course. So in one or the other way, if you have been invited to accept the badge via email, how would you do that? The next thing is, what if you are not able to find email or for some reason, the email hasn't uh, come into your inbox for whatever reason it is. So in that scenario, if you know which email uh, are you expecting the badge in, how can we proceed with that? That's like the second scenario. And let's say like you have some badges in one Credly account, some more badges in another Credly account. How would you merge these two accounts and the badges within them? So that's what we will try to take a look at now. Okay, so to begin with, uh, I have been invited to accept this badge. So I have this email, if you see like, um, I have been invited or it says like you have earned a badge for AWS certification as an AWS Academy educator. Okay. And if you notice like this is, uh, this one has come to my email, whatever is available here. Now this could be your personal email. This could be your work email. And sometimes you have these emails, access to these emails forever. If it's a personal email, but if it's like a work email, you don't have access to it all the time. But let's say like you have never had a Credly account and you have received an invitation to accept the badge. There are a couple of ways to do this. Now, number one, if you don't have an account, all you have to do is just like uh, click on this link, click on accept your badge. I'm going to copy paste the URL here. And once I do that, it is going to ask me congratulations on badge well earned and then like now it prompts me to create an account because this email id to which the badge has been delivered it has not been linked to any credly account that's the reason why it is showing like this now let's say what i do is i click on create an account and it will ask me to fill in my details that's what i'll do right now now this is one way to do it which is like uh, you have the email you are able to create the account you accept the badge you will have it but what i will also want you to show is like what if you lose this email which means instead of going by this link what i'll instead do is i'll go by the other method which is like i'll directly go to credly.com so if you have the invitation email, it's very straightforward. I'm sure you understand how to go about it. If you do not have the email, but you know which email ID are you expecting the badge in, this is what you can do. Let's say I create an account. I click on sign in and I will sign up first. Create account. And I'll do it. I create the account. Now it asks me to verify the email. So I go to my inbox and then like I have this email asking me to confirm my email. So I open that link and that should have created an account for me. So now what I will do is I will log in with the account that I just created. I have not uh, accepted the badge invitation, but I'm doing a different thing here now. So once I sign in, if you see, like, even if you have lost the badge, you should be able to see this thing here, which says like a badge has been issued to you. Do you want to accept it? This is like the second method. If you have lost the email, but you know which email ID 
to which email id should the badge be sent and this is one another way to figure it out now let's say i click on accept badge make it public auto accept from this one okay great so i do this and i have my badge i go view your dashboard and here it says like i have two badges that has come into this account okay great now i want another challenge here is like this account is linked with this email address but let's say i don't i am not sure how long will i be working in this organization or i, I like if i'm a student i might be graduating so if i want to have my personal email id there are two ways to do it one is i can go to settings i can click on add email address add an email address make that the default and get rid of this email id the work email id and i'll still have all the badges with me in this credly account but let's say i already have another credly account for example this is my credly account with my personal email id if you see in here i go to profile i go to settings So I have a couple of academy accredited educator badges, but the one that I recently received is like one is educator, one is certified educator. I don't have them in here. So what I'm going to do is like go to settings and first add an email address. If I add an email address, the thing will be it my uh, college email ID. It already is associated with another account. So what I can instead do is I can click on merge an account. Now this is where I give my email address from the other account give the password for the same thing next now this should be sending me an authorization code so i should receive that in my email and as soon as i have it i can copy this paste it here and then click confirm Okay, it says like badges accepted to that account has two badges. So I go ahead and then click on merge accounts. So those two badges will actually be available here for me. So you see, like the educator one and the certified educator one has come in here. And if I come back to this account and let's say I refresh the page it has logged me out because that login is not valid anymore the account has been merged which means that email address will also have been added to my primary or my personal credly accounts uh, list of email addresses so this is how like you can accept the badge if you have the email if you don't have the email or if you have multiple accounts you can merge them that's it for now thank you